came back from the machinist. This is my blower case. He uh, was able to machine up my nose and everything for the right gears. Make it all work. Now I'm going to try to clean up this case. Take it all back to him. I lucked out. The guy built blowers for years on uh, big industrial stuff. And uh, he's going to help me set this thing up. So have absolutely no problem with my blower at all. Here's one side by half done. I got the other side pretty much done. Uh, you can see it looks pretty decent. Much better than that old case. I'm just hitting it with this stainless cut brush. Cuts aluminum pretty good. <coughs> Basically just getting all the junk off of it. Uh, you can sure tell where I quit here. I'm going to finish cut brushing it and then I'll hit it with some uh, with a well spatter tool and see what it looks like. Uh, it's pretty much all cleaned up. I got a little bit more <coughs> wire brushing to do on it. But uh, that looks nice. It'll be nice and shiny. Aluminum is going to oxidize. But uh, Sure looks a lot better than it did. Next step is to use a little slower speed grinder here. Uh, it'll give me time to work on stuff and I can take a lot of these pits and stuff out. Maybe get into some smaller places. Uh, I think it'll make quite a difference in it. There's one side of it done. It uh, looks bad because it's done at different angles but it's pretty smooth and I'm mostly good for flat spots I've taken this all down pretty much flush I'm never going to get these little corners I'm taking all the casting marks and stuff off I still got a lot of dirt down in here I can't get to but it took about 30 40 minutes at least to do this one side and uh, like I say, you can see all the tooth marks from the grinder in it. So I'm going to wire brush it when I get done and that'll give it an even finish. I switched to a 60 grit wheel from my 40 grit, 20 grit, something like that. And it's uh, really starting to cut her down nice now. I'm going to just wire brush a little section in here and see what it looks like. I changed from my big coarse twisted wire stainless brush here to a finer one. I think that should be able to take all of the stuff out, make it look a little better. Let's do a section see what it looks like. I did these two lobes here. It uh, actually what it's doing, it's that brush is so fast it's melting aluminum and putting pits back into it. So I actually got a better better surface there with the, with the grinder. So I'm going to try see if I can get a brush on a, on a slower one and see what happens. I'm uh, hitting it with that uh, give it sort of a satin look compared to this side here which is I don't know if you can really see it with a camera but uh, this is obviously grinder looking and this is more of a brushed look. So it's a, uh, I'm not trying to polish the blower, I'm just trying to clean it up a bit. Even though that's kind of shinier, uh, it's obviously those are all grinder marks and the brush is taking them out. Well, that's it. I got it pretty much all polished up. Got a lot of the old red paint and stuff off of it. Got a brushed aluminum look to it. It's not very good a job, but I'm not going to spend several days on it. The more I look at it, the more I think it might be better to just paint it. It's plenty smooth now, and the paint will cover up a lot of this, and it'll give it a real nice look. We'll see. I'm going to clean it now and get all this aluminum and stuff out of it and see what we got. 
Uh, I cleaned it up good with gas. Blew it all out with air real well so there's no aluminum or anything left in here. And uh, I decided I'd just go ahead and paint it aluminum. This is header paint. And this should get pretty hot so it looks like it's uh, looks like it took pretty good. It's not going to be real shiny or anything, but I will get some kind of a little bit of a gloss in it. But all in all, I think this uh, blower turned out fine. I'll take it back to the machinist. It'll be spotless and I think he'll like that a lot. So another day's work we got our blower case all done up not polished but cleaned up real nice and uh, next thing will be to assemble it I'll try to make a video of that and how to how to time it and if you'll let me I think he will and we'll have another little uh, blower video for everybody next thing we got to do this is a plate for the blower. Uh, I got me a couple used 500 uh, vacuum secondary hollies here. And I'll have to go through these and rebuild them. But uh, the next project will be this. And we'll clean this up and Got to get air into that blower along with a little bit of gas. So this is how we're going to do it. What our setup's going to look like. Don't look like I'm going to have to have any plates or spacers or anything on it. It's going to be easy enough to make myself a progressive linkage here for these. Everything's clearing front when there has got the choke horn removed or the flapper I guess it get a little more flow out of it and this one here is a mechanical so I'll have to put me a little choke cable in it I like that better than I do electric choke just easier to fool with and I'll have to run my fuel lines and stuff I'll make me some kind of a little manifold here for this business and uh, go through these two carburetors and rebuild them clean them up hopefully they'll sort of match if they don't then maybe I'll paint them or something I figured out what I'm going to do I'll have to take them all apart Put a kid in them because I want to start this thing and I want to be able to just keep running it and break in the cam and not have to fool around with leaky carburetors or something. Now I just couldn't resist putting this up on a motor. Yeah, it looks pretty impressive. Time I get it all put together and all the drives and pulley on it. It's going to look really good. I think what I'll do is maybe paint this other manifold here so it'll it'll match. But uh, yeah, this is going to be really sweet looking. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll paint that manifold because that'll match the match the exhaust manifolds and it'll all look the same yeah this will be pretty